Coastal regions present unique difficulties for gardeners. Soil near the shore is sandy and drains quickly, but it's very salty and becomes much saltier when it's frequently inundated. Strong, unrelenting winds and salty ocean spray can severely dehydrate the soil and vegetation. Here is a list of six ornamentals that thrive in salty conditions. Number one, rosemary. This traditional Mediterranean plant has upright woody stems and needle-like gray-green leaves that are resistant to dryness, wind, and salt spray. It is a tiny shrub that grows perennially from seed in warm climates. It can be grown in containers and brought indoors for the winter if you live in a cooler region. Growing zones 8 to 10 are fine for them. Number 2. Sea Lavender Botanically unrelated to lavender, sea lavender is nonetheless native to Europe's salt marshes and coastal sand dunes. It can survive harsh winters in the north and is also resistant to salt and wind. It's covered in small, papery flowers of various hues during the summer. Zones 4 to 11 are ideal for growing sea lavender. Number 3. Sea Holly This perennial is commonly mistaken for holly, despite the fact that it prefers coastal areas in its native Europe. This low-maintenance plant is a favorite not just for coastal gardens, but for any landscape because of its distinctive thistle-like flower heads. Plant sea holly in a site where it can stay for the long haul, but keep in mind that it has deep tap roots and is not easily transplanted. This plant does best in zones five through nine. Number four, yarrow. Yarrow can thrive in practically any soil as long as it receives full sunlight. It may look like a delicate fern because of its fine, feathery leaves, but don't be fooled. Because of its salt tolerance, yarrow is a useful plant for seaside landscaping. Although butterflies, bees, and other insects find it extremely attractive, it can spread rapidly if not planted with care. Zones three through nine are ideal for this plant. Number five. Lanceleaf Coreopsis. Lanceleaf Coreopsis prefers the dry, windy conditions that are common around the shore. This wildflower is endemic to the southeastern United States, where its daisy-like golden yellow flowers and hairy lance-shaped leaves can be found. It blooms in the spring and early summer, drawing in many natural insects that are good for the environment. This plant thrives in zones four through nine. Number six, red hot poker. This lovely plant, native to South Africa, is a popular choice for seashore landscapes from Maine to Florida. All of them have showy flower spikes that attract insects that carry pollen, such as bees, hummingbirds, and butterflies. This plant has been declared invasive in various areas due to its ability to spread rapidly via underground rhizomes. This plant thrives in zones five through nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.